and uh, good evening, as the case may be, to, to all our uh, participants, both in person and virtually. Welcome to the LF Energy Summit 2023. A few points before we start. First, uh, I would like to remind our event code of conduct, so everybody should feel uh, welcome and included, so if, in case you have any issue, please contact the, the staff. I also want to warmly thank our sponsors, Google, our platinum sponsor, and Savoir-Faire and Linux, our gold sponsor. Without their support, this event would not have been possible, so many thanks. And it's a special event today. Um, we cannot start this event before remembering the person who made all our community possible. I mean, Dr. Shuli Goodman, who sadly passed earlier this year. We have prepared a video for that. We have some sound issues, unfortunately. The planet and business are going to begin to go all in in terms of trying to understand what does it mean to actually decarbonize. As we reach this punctuated equilibrium, as people begin to recognize that something fundamental is different, um, we will begin to see innovations and change happening much more rapidly. I will always remember how Shuli welcomed our craziest ideas. First, with openness and enthusiasm, and then, like a gardener, with inexhaustible perseverance and generosity, guiding and nurturing the initial seed towards higher purposes. She will remain an inspiration to many of us. What did I think was the best example of global governance in which you know no one was killed, there were no guns, there were no politicians, there were no standing armies, and yet uh, the Linux kernel went from a desktop, you know, being hacked in Finland to being pretty ubiquitous in terms of the operating system of the planet. So I made kind of a cold call um, to the Linux Foundation and I, I went in and had a meeting with Mike Dolan um, and I said to him, I'm looking for neutral. I'm looking for a really neutral place to put this ecosystem. Um, because ultimately we are going to have to shift to open source in order to decarbonize. He like s shot up in his chair and he went running out and he got Brian Bellendorf, who is the co-founder of Apache. And the three of us sat down and had a conversation. And I think that we believed at the time um, that this was such, such a no duh and it was so obvious that it would just happen really quickly. Working with Shuli was absolutely a unique experience. She had a personal touch in the things that is really unique. I remember in one telco, she had the impression I was not myself, a little bit depressed. She called me right after the telco, is everything okay with you? You need help, can I do anything for you? This type of human touch was for me absolutely unique. Remarkable. I loved it. Simply as that. This actually was um, the opening line to my PhD dissertation. And for me, it 
really caused me to think in new and important ways, which is the recognition that the future doesn't happen everywhere, all at once, all at the same time. And the implications of that are that we have the ability to influence the outcomes of the future. And so it is really important what we do here and how we do it, because we have a very big job in front of us. I want us to begin thinking differently. My wish is, is that we become uh, you know, uh, constant travelers uh, in a border-free approach to solving our great problems, and that that is the path forward. I've known Shuli for almost 10 years. I have been amazed and so grateful for what Shuli built with LF Energy. Shuli welcomed me as someone she would break bread with, and we did so. During the pandemic, she generously invited my children and me to her lovely home to pick apples and pears and explore her vegetable garden. She often described herself as a gardener, planting seeds, caring for them with love, and patiently waiting for the harvest, both literally and in her professional work. I am so proud of the garden of collaboration, innovation, and impact she has planted and tended. And now it is up to us to carry it through to harvest. I think we have an opportunity to wake up and that that's what this time is about. Ultimately, it is the great transition. The energy and power that created the economy that we have now emerged out of an extractive kind of mindset. And we have to shift that to actually a really different way of thinking about um, how we interrelate with the planet. Go out, hug a tree, do something that actually gets you engaged in the transformation of power systems and uh, decarbonization. Thank you very much. So now I would like to invite us to have a, a moment of silence in memory of Shuli. So we owe it to Shuli to continue our vision of developing an open source community for the sake of the energy transition. And we will do. We will do because this is inevitable. Actually, we are convinced that this is the only way to accelerate and boost innovation so that we all meet our huge transformation challenges. And to reflect this conviction and to reflect the work that the community is doing, we have updated recently the uh, LF Energy mission statement, as you can read it. And this is the North Star that is driving our efforts and gathering our community. And I like seeing this constellation of logos growing year by year. It is important, it is fundamental, because all the work we are doing would not be possible without the support of our members. LF Energy is gathering a community of utilities, technology companies, energy equipment vendors, research organizations, nonprofit organizations, public service organizations, and this is quite exceptional. We, are, we have the privilege to build on top of such a diverse community. And I'm happy to say that the pace of growth of our community continued over the 12 last months. We have now reached 70 members in total and 25 projects. But maybe let's first take a broader perspective. A tremendous 
work has been carried out to build this landscape. So this is not only LF, about LF energy projects. This is an inventory of more than 1,300 open source projects around the world. And we, we, we would like to thank the community of the open sustainable technology who provided most of this information. And what does it illustrate? This illustrates that there is a huge momentum within the open source community to tackle these challenges, the challenges of the energy transition and sustainability. And this is an opportunity for us because there is a lot of momentum to leverage to better achieve our missions. And now, focusing on the 25 LF energy projects. So how do they differentiate from the 1,300? And what is the benefit of hosting a project under LF energy umbrella? Well, actually, the projects that are joining us are benefiting from proven practices that help the projects to sustain their activities and to grow. And for instance, we have developed a maturity lifecycle process that monitors and screens a few KPIs that the project should meet, and we help the projects to grow their KPIs so that they can better meet the industry requirements and be suitable for a massive deployment at scale. To finish this introduction, I would like also to illustrate and give you some uh, indicators of the wealth of the LF Energy community and how we are growing. These are provided by the Linux Foundation. And as you can see on this uh, slide, the, contribu the total contributors to LF Energy project has grown during the last 12 months. So now we have, over this period, more than 300 additional contributors involved in joining our initiatives. Another indicator could be the total commits that is almost reaching 60, 60K commits, 60,000 commits over the 12, last 12 months. And this is also an indicator that those contributors are growing their participation and involvement in the community. We could also look at the lines of code that are added to the various repositories that we are hosting. And this indi indicator is, is also growing. 9% uh, if we compare the, um, the 12 last months compared to one year before. And that is a massive amount of code and contributed to, to our project. So maybe the figures I presented can seem a bit abstract to those of you that are not deeply involved in, in all the projects. And even for us, who are part of some of the initiatives, we still have a lot to learn because we are growing so fast that there are many new initiatives popping up that we are not aware of. And well, we have an opportunity today. We have the chance to have a great program over those two, uh, two days to learn more, discover what happens in the community, learn from each other, make connections between the projects. And for those of you who are not part of these initiatives, well, we hope that we will convince you to become a member, to get involved, to join us, contribute in various forms, and help us increase furthermore these figures that I've shown you, because this does not happen fast enough. We still need to accelerate. We still need to deliver in order to meet our challenges.